Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode. I just had to do this one. <laughs> you know I'm saying? It's smile to Jannah. Douche. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> In an age of artificial intelligence, quantum computers, and reconnaissance satellites. Yeah. Thank you very much. Anything else? Uh, no, 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 I'm <laughs> India is using its technological and military might to intercepting pigeons. We're getting some breaking updates now, viewers. A suspected spy pigeon from Pakistan has now been captured along the international border in Katua with a coded message. Security agencies have now been or are decoding the messages. Yes, they claim a spy pigeon was sent over by Pakistan to infiltrate the country's security. I mean, it's obvious what Pakistan was trying to do, isn't it? You know, they were trying to stage a coup. <laughs> the country that is supposed to be the biggest democracy, one of the emerging superpowers, is out trying to wrestle pigeons. Sometimes when you're young and you watch cartoons, you don't know the wisdom behind it. There was this particular cartoon I used to watch and, and I didn't know who it was based upon. Now I know it's clearly based upon the Indian military. These are the visuals that we have access to in Republic of a spy pigeon that has now been caught. I love how they try to assure us that look, this is the pigeon. We got it. Look, here's the evidence. In case you people start doubting our pigeon catching abilities, mate. I'm sure they tried to interview the pigeon, but because it was sent over by the Pakistanis, naturally it was going to be unresponsive, isn't it? Yeah, Pakistani, yeah. I mean, kudos to you guys for deciphering that message, but I think he's left <laughs> I think he's left another message in that bowl. Yeah, can someone sift through that and decipher that please? Because it could be a matter of national security. Noticed a suspected pigeon having a suspected ring. Suspected pigeon with a suspected ring, suspectedly suspecting the suspects. Oh, yeah. Now because this is a smile to Jannah, I don't play no games here, yeah? So I tried to track down some exclusive footage of the Indian military trying to track down this jihadi terrorist pigeon. General. No, we haven't stopped the pigeon yet, sir. They are trying to use innovative measures to send across the message. Innovative measure. If you think this is an innovative measure, my friend, then you have the technical knowledge of a toilet brush. Alright, thank you so much, Tejinder, for getting us that update. We'll keep coming back to you for more details. There will be more updates. Yep, yeah, I'm sure there will. At the moment, we just have numbers. Then eventually we'll get letters. And then those letters will form into a speech that Modiji will use to address his nation. Mr. Dolan Trump. So it turns out, guys, that it was just an innocent, average Pakistani bloke yeah, Pakistani, yeah. that was flying his pigeons on Eid, <laughs> you know, as you do. And one of the pigeons strayed off and went to India. And the number that the Indian military is using all of its might trying to decipher is the poor guy's phone number. And the guy just wants his pigeon back. So while we got the Neuralink that's being refined and Starlink satellites being put out there trying to revolutionize communication and populations are trying to colonize Mars to save civilization, India is there trying to do the chokehold on Junaid's pigeon. So we are investigating further into it to find out exactly where it is and what is it or not. It is sad to be honest to see a country with so much potential like India taking a downward spiral. And let's be frank, this happened as soon as Modi came into power. And one of the first things that that guy did was put Kashmir, Muslim majority Kashmir under lockdown. Then he introduced a anti-Muslim bill called the CAA and now there are open lynchings and boycotts of Muslims. Now you might think, oh it's a conspiracy. 
No, BJP members themselves have been caught on video doing this. We had the story of uh, one BJP MLA from UP threatening a Muslim vegetable vendor the other day and he's now got a show cause notice from party president JP Nadda to explain those remarks and now another UP BJP MLA has been filmed on this video threatening a Muslim vegetable vendor uh, uh, again. Now to such a degree that the US, there's a company in the US that has labelled India as a nation of particular concern, putting it in the same category as North Korea. India has been categorized as a tier two country. It has been downgraded to the lowest rank possible. Do you know which other countries have been placed along with India? North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Even then, it's just not sinking into them that they really need to sort themselves out. I pray India sorts itself out and gives Junaid's pigeon back, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Vapas karo. Vapas karo. Let's leave it there guys, until next time. Karuna go! Karuna go! Go Karuna! Go Karuna! Assalamu alaikum.